Welcome to the Arts and Medicine Studio. Today, I'm going to share with Lizzie an incredible experience I had at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Let me invite her in. Hi, Lizzie. Hi, Nitsa. Great to be here. I can't wait to show you what happened to me last Friday when I went to the Met to meet my friend Clive. I was just walking towards this amazing building that is four city blocks long. And there was a tent in the front. And I just couldn't believe that the Met had a hideout because you know, at the studio, we always build our own hideouts. But then I remembered that it was the Fashion Institute Gala coming up that Monday but in my heart, it was our hideout. So I met my friend Clive and I sat him down and I said, Clive, where is your hideout? Can I show you mine? So we both decided that our favorite hideouts were in Asia. I took him to the Chinese Aster Garden Court, which is an amazingly built court in the middle of a house where you have plants and ponds and rocks that you don't know what carved the stone. Was it water? Was it a person? How was Snoopy made? And Clive said, wait, let me show you my favorite place. And he took me to Cambodia. And he pointed out that in that big vast room, right where the bamboo Buddha was, in the back, there was a hideout. And I said, you know, Clive, I don't like the dark. So I sat down and meditated. Wow, that's an amazing journey you just took. I love the idea that you can make a hideout in your mind by meditating and just taking a moment to find that quiet place inside of yourself. Nitsa, this is so inspiring just thinking about all of the different ways we can find that quiet place and that hideout. Are there ways that people visiting the studio have made their own hideouts? But of course, Lizzie, there are so many ways to hide out. If it's hiding, I think it's just a place where you feel safe. So we found big cardboard boxes and made big stores and houses out of it and hid in there. We could make a mask and wear it and people would know where we are. There's so many incredible ways to find a safe place, especially in our studio where you could do any artwork you want using any materials you want and create something new for the world. Nisa, that's so exciting. I loved seeing those examples from the studio. And you know what? I think I'm gonna make a hideout right in my living room today. So you guys out there, if you have any ideas for hideout or for ways to feel safe, please send it to me and Lizzie at aimnita at gmail.com. And we can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.